Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently on my channel I did a mega beauty haul of all of the products that I got in my Generation Beauty swag bag. And one type of video I've really been loving recently is when people do like a ton of first impressions and try out new products in one video. So that is what I'm doing today with some of the new products I got at Gen Beauty. So this is essentially going to be like a get ready with me on this look combined with multiple first impressions. I tried out a ton of new stuff. It's like nearly a full face of first impressions. Side note, yes I know my face probably looks really orange. That's the trial and error of trying out a ton of new products at once. But if you are interested in hearing my thoughts on a ton of new products and also seeing how I achieve this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. The first product I'm going to be trying out is one of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizing Primers. This is the Hydrating Primer. Makeup Forever describes this as for normal skin with occasional dryness. They also have a nourishing primer, which is for just like regularly dry skin. Oh, it's like really thin and liquidy. So let's just start applying this. One thing I don't like is that these primers are fragranced. I wish Makeup Forever had just made them unscented. Fragrance products are always a little bit of a gamble for me. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to spread. It might just be the moisturizer I have on underneath, but it's not spreading over my skin that easily. Maybe my skin's just a little bit dehydrated and it's just like absorbing it right away. It does feel nice on my skin, like it feels very hydrating, honestly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my foundation really quickly. I'm probably just gonna speed this part up, but. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I just recently did a first impressions on this, so I'll have that link down below in case you missed it. So foundation is on, but now it is time for concealer because I am looking majorly tired. My eyes are so sunken today. So this is the one product that I didn't get at Gen Beauty. I'm sneaking it in here anyways though because I want to try it and share my thoughts. It is the No Dark Shadows Complexion Enhancer. This is from a company called No Cosmetics. They're really well known for their No Bleeding Lips Lip Liner. And I have the shade Wow. There's two shades in this and this is the lightest. So I'm just gonna start applying this to my eye area. That's really light. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation is a little bit too dark for me, so this is like really light in comparison. This is blending out really, really nicely with the Beauty Blender. I think it is giving me a really good amount of coverage for my eye area. Like this side definitely looks a lot better than this side, that's for sure. And it appears to have a pretty nice matte finish, like it doesn't seem to be creasing at all, so that is good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye now. It has kind of a funky smell though, like it honestly is giving me like slight nail polish kind of scent. It's not too bad, but it's definitely noticeable. I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. I still feel like I look really tired. It's definitely a little bit pink, especially with this foundation. But I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like highlight down the center of my face a little bit with it as well. It has been raining non-stop here for like a little over a week now. We've had like a couple sunny mornings, but it always gets rainy again in the evening and like it has just been pouring non-stop. And that's not the best situation for filming since I do use natural lighting. The lighting can look good if it's like a little bit overcast, but when it's like super gray and gloomy and just like completely pouring like it is right now, it's not always the best. I am looking into like a professional lighting setup at the moment, so hopefully I'll be getting like a ring light or something soon. This product may be a little bit cakey. Like I wouldn't say it's the most like flattering concealer ever. I did apply quite a bit of it, but that's just what I like to do with my concealers. So I'm kind of iffy on this one so far. It has a good amount of coverage, but I don't know if I'm really loving it. The next product I want to try, I'm actually seriously nervous about, and it is the Benefit Do The Hula Liquid Bronzer. I really want to try this and see what it's like, because I've heard good things, but honestly, when I swatch it, it's so straight up orange, honestly. Like, ugh, I don't know, I'm afraid to try this, and I'm also like, not really comfortable with like liquid products like this. I also do have like a powder bronzer that I want to try out in this video, so I'm not gonna like go ham with this. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this and just kind of dot it along the sides of my face here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just doing a couple little dots like around the area that I would contour and I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender and start blending this out. It's very orange. Oh, it's blending out okay though. And it honestly doesn't look as orange now that I have blended it out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. It's actually not that scary. It was surprisingly easy to work with and it blended out really easily. It didn't stick to any spots or anything like that. This isn't actually that bad. So I think I'm actually gonna do a little bit more of it in the other 
usual bronzing areas like up around the side of my face here. I was honestly really scared to try this product and I I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Like it honestly blends out so easily and effortlessly. I think it actually looks pretty good. It's just added like a little bit of color. But I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead and not go overboard with it because I don't wanna ruin my makeup. So I'm going to set everything with powder really quick and do my brows. I'm just gonna do that off camera because it's all really self-explanatory and I don't wanna make this video longer than it needs to be, so I'll be right back. So for my eyes, I'm going to keep things very simple because I am going to be trying out this Pure Double Ego Colored Liquid Liner. So I'm just going to go in with my Tarte Palette and just apply just some matte shadows in the crease to give my eyes a little bit of definition. So this is just going to be really simple. I'm just going to kind of do a really soft matte crease. This is pretty much all I do when I wear like colorful liquid liners. I just blend a couple quick shadows in the crease and then I let that colored liner be the focus of the look. I am also going to try out this new blending brush that I got from Luxie. It's quite a bit smaller than my Sigma E40 that I use for my transition shade. So this is what I'm going to use just to kind of build up the crease a little bit. This brush is quite nice. It does seem to pick up quite a lot of product for a synthetic brush. So I had a little I had to be a little bit careful and kind of like sweep off the excess on the back of my hand, but it blends really nicely for being synthetic. I didn't realize my camera had just stopped recording for a second, but I just went ahead and put a little bit of matte shadow on my lower lash line as well. Just going to quickly clean this up a little bit. I'm going to be using the Pure Double Ego Double Ended Liner. This is in the shade Queensland and it's kind of like a teal blue kind of shade. So you get the liquid liner pen on one end and then a twist up pencil on the other. I don't know if I'm going to be using the pencil side. I'm definitely going to be using the liquid though. I did zoom you guys back out a little bit just because I know that I'm going to get really focused while I'm doing this and I'm probably going to move out of frame if I'm like really zoomed in. It does have a really good amount of pigment. It's a really pretty color. I really like it. It's kind of like teal mixed with like an emerald green. I'm just gonna start off just doing a really thin line along my lashes. I have not worn a liquid liner in so long, so this might turn out totally terrible. And I get really nervous doing it on camera. The tip of this though is extremely nice and precise. Like I'm able to get right in at the base of my lashes, which is what I love. I I personally always prefer a brush tip though because I just find them a little bit more flexible and I find they're a little bit easier to just kind of curve to your lid and they just, they go on a little bit easier in my opinion but this is actually pretty easy to use. I'm gonna do like the tiniest little baby wing. So that is what it's looking like close up. I feel like I kind of like wiped off my foundation here from like having my wrist resting on my face, so I'll have to fix that. But it's pretty good. It applied really nice and smooth. It's definitely extremely pigmented. I'm happy with it. I always tend to start right in the center of my eye and kind of work outwards on both sides. So that is what the finish liner is looking like. I feel like it's a little bit darker on this side for some reason. Maybe the tip just like wasn't getting as much product on this eye, but I really like this. It's something quite different from the other like turquoise and teal liners that I have. It's quite a unique color, I think. And it turned out pretty good. My wings aren't totally even, but whatever. I feel like this is really fun for the summer. And it's kind of cool that it's dark. It's not like a really obvious in your face kind of color. It's a little bit more understated. I'm just going to try the liquid for today. I was thinking about doing the pencil on the lower lash line, but I'm really liking the more clean lower lash line with this. So I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to hop back to face. I'm going to do some bronzer. And <laughs> you guys, I'm so sad. I'm trying out the Physicians Formula Super BB Insta Ready Bronzer. Yesterday when I was grabbing my products that I was going to try, I dropped this and it shattered and I haven't even used it. It's not too terrible like I can definitely like press it and fix it for sure. Products are never as nice once you like have to press them and fix them so. But like I said this whole new line from Physicians Formula is hashtag insta ready so it's basically meant to be really like photogenic and photo friendly products so it's meant to like blur and smooth and just look all around flawless. And with this bronzer I am going to try this Royal and Langnickel powder brush from their Moda line. This is their new like affordable brush 
lash line. I've heard they are supposed to be available at Walmart, so it's basically like really good quality brushes for affordable prices, which is awesome. This reminds me a lot of the Real Techniques brush that I use for bronzer, but this is so soft for being synthetic, like it feels like a natural hair brush. So I'm going to ever so delicately tap that in to my sad broken bronzer and just kind of start bronzing up the edges of my face. It is a little bit small for bronzer, but I also feel like it's small for powder as well. I feel like this is going to take quite a while to bronze up my face. It might not have been the best choice. This might actually be really nice for blush too. Like I feel like this is a good size for like my cheeks. So while this brush feels like absolutely amazing and luxurious, I am thinking it's too small for bronzer. So I'm just gonna go grab something a little bit bigger just for the sake of saving time. So this is the Real Techniques brush that I was mentioning. As you can kind of see, they're fairly similar. This one's just quite a bit bigger and it is a little bit fluffier as well, but I have had this for a little while, so it's probably spread out a little bit more. So the bronzer is definitely more subtle. It was very smooth and easy to blend though. I also really want to try out this flat contour brush from Luxie. So I think I'm going to do some really light contouring with this bronzer. I wanted this to be a more summery makeup look so I'm not going to do like a heavy contour or anything. One thing that I will say, I do wash all my brushes before I start using them. And I wash this and this took forever to dry because it's so insanely dense and the hairs are so short. And I feel like I did have some issues rinsing out the product and it feels very stiff, like the product I used to clean it with, I mean. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of bronzer and just see how I like this for contouring because I've never tried a brush this style. I do have the NARS Eda, but the bristles on those are quite a bit longer and like flimsier, they're not as dense. Looking at this bronzer in the pan, it does have like a very mild satiny finish, but I don't think it's really translating at all when I'm applying it, so that's why I decided to just go for it for contouring too. I definitely see the appeal in these brushes, like they're really good for getting like a really like chiseled kind of contour. I think it's definitely like similar results that I get with my NARS Eda. I'm just placing that on and then just kind of really gently blending that upwards. Okay, so it is blush time. I'm so excited for this because I'm going to be trying out the Pixie Beauty Book of Blush. I think I'm going to go for this kind of more peachy shade here just to kind of complement the blue tones in my liner. And I am trying out another new Luxie brush. This one's a little bit more straight forward but it is the dual fiber stippling brush I haven't swatched these at all so I don't know how pigmented they are so I'm just gonna kind of tap into there and start applying that to the apples of my cheeks I think I need to dig my brush in a little bit more because that's not picking up a ton of color let me actually just swatch these and see how much pigment you get from them that wasn't very much at all okay these do seem like definitely more sheer blushes for sure at least that shade I'm gonna swatch a different one Swatching more of like the bronze. That one has better pigment, but they're definitely more sheer blushes. Gonna change up the brush once again, and I'm gonna try the Royal and Langnickel one because like I said, I think this is a good size and shape for my cheeks. As someone who likes to really load on the blush, that's not necessarily my favorite. It is good because you can really build up the product. That's working a lot better. I'm actually getting some color payoff now and I do really like this. It's a really really good size for my face. So I did end up getting a good amount of pigment from the blush. I just thought they were going to be more pigmented and that's typically what I use stippling brushes for. These don't work as well for more sheer natural blushes. For my highlight I'm not using something new but I wanted to use something that I haven't used in a while and I definitely haven't used on camera and it is the Kat Von D eyeshadow in Thunderstruck. This is just like a really pale pearlescent gold with a of a duochrome to it. I'm going to use my Lexi Tapered Highlighter Brush, which I just mentioned in my May favorites. I'm obsessed with this brush. It's like the perfect size to apply highlight. And for those of you who don't know, I did recently become a Luxie affiliate, so I do have a discount code for you guys that is Sari20 if you guys want to try out these brushes as well. I'm a really big fan of them. I'm gonna bring a little bit in here, down my nose. Cupid's bow, all the highlighting places. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to take a little bit of this and pop it in my inner corners as well. And then a little bit just on the very arch of my brow. So before we go ahead and do mascara, I'm going to try out this brand new Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. I'm gonna spritz this on. Whew, it definitely gave like a heavier spray, like it really kinda doused my face. It appears to have kinda like a mild, clean scent. Definitely a heavy spray though, like there's some very definite little like water drops. I'd probably 
hold it a little bit further away from my face in the future. So it says to definitely avoid getting it in your eyes, which is a little bit worrisome since you are spraying it directly onto your face. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like little droplets from that setting spray. So if I look really shiny and crazy, it's just because that's still drying. But the mascara I'm testing out today, I am really excited about because it is the Smashbox, oh, as I drop it, X-rated mascara. I haven't even opened it yet. So that is what the wand looks like. It's a traditional like fiber wand. The little bristles seem to be fairly far spaced out though. So let's go ahead and curl the lashes. So I'm gonna go in with the mascara. One problem I do tend to have typically with wands that have like further spaced out bristles is I find that it kind of groups all my lashes together in little sections and doesn't really fan them out the way I like to, which is someone who doesn't have very nice lashes to start, that's a big issue for me because it makes it look like I have like two lashes on each lid. It's definitely a more wet formula. It is giving me a good amount of length though. Uh, a little bit of volume, not so much though, I would definitely say more lengthening. I feel like it is quickly weighing down my lashes though because it is very wet. I feel like I look so orange in the viewfinder, so hopefully I don't actually look that orange when I upload the footage, but I don't know. Mascara, I think it looks okay, but I'm just worried that it's really drooping down my lashes. Personally, a one coat of mascara kind of girl. I don't like doing more than that, but I don't know. I think they look okay. It's not my favorite though. It just didn't fan out my lashes as much as I would like, but I don't think it looks bad either. I just thought of another product that I can test out right now that I wasn't originally planning on doing today, but it's the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Eye Pencils, and I'm going to use the black shade to just tight line a little bit. I'm just gonna really gently lift my eyelid with my ring finger. But that worked pretty well. It deposited a really good amount of color. That area of your eye is obviously very wet, so it's really good when you can get a good amount of product picking up on there. This is just something that I like to do when I wear colored liner like this because it adds more definition to the lashes and just really kind of defines your eye. So that's what that looks like. So we are finally onto lips. I'm going to try out these new NYX Pro Lip Cream Palettes and my Royal and Langnickel Lip Brush. I think I'm going to mix a couple of these together. I always have not so high hopes for lip palettes, honestly, because I feel like they're not going to have that much pigmentation. So apologies, that probably just jumped randomly and you guys didn't see me applying this on my lips. I tried a few different options and I just wasn't liking them so I just kind of settled on this. I'm still not like super in love with it with this look. I ended up using this shade here from the Nudes Pro Lip Cream Palette and I do like the color. I just don't know how I feel about it with this makeup. This makeup turned out a little bit funky in some places. This is just kind of like a muted brown kind of rose shade. This shade was really pigmented though and went on really nice and these aren't too like emollient and like greasy kind of feel like like some lip palettes are and it's also not too goopy or thick either. It's actually like a really nice consistency. So what I'm going to do is in the description bar I'm going to have a little summary on how these products wear and what I think of them once I've tried them a little bit longer. But yeah that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this style of video and if you want to see more in the future. I was thinking about like picking up some new drugstore products and just doing one solely on products from the drugstore. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to check me out on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Sari Rihanna on all three. Hit subscribe down below if you haven't already of course and I will talk to all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!